Hello, this is Don Hall back again. What I want to show you today is how I decorate uh, pottery, how actually I make the colors to uh, paint works like this one. They, uh, it's done with underglazes and I create my own underglazes. It's a very simple method, anybody can do it. It takes a little bit of time, a little bit of patience, but Basically, it's really, really simple. Uh, this pot was decorated with terra sigillata. I'm going to show you how to make that. And I, I put mason stains in the terra sigillata and paint them on my pottery when it's in the greenware stage. I paint the colors on, let it dry. I biscuit to cone 01. I'm sorry, to cone 1. And then I uh, put a, a clear semi matte glaze on and refire it again to cone 06. Basically, that's the process I use, and today we're going to uh, make some of those. I should mention about the terra sigillata and the clay that I use. People always ask me, What clay do you use? I use a clay called Silverstone, it's from a, a pottery near here uh, called Quail Kilns. They make, they make clay there and it's a high fire coneware, uh, stoneware clay and what I do is I, I uh, turn it into sigil terra sigillata which is just a, uh, a way to make take clay get all the impurities out of it and you have nothing but pure clay left and pure clay and water and that's the basis for painting my colors. I find that this method works really well for me. I think that because the clay I use to make the pottery and the clay I use to make the uh, colors, the underglaze, is the same clay body, shrinks at the same rate, and has a real good uh, adhering quality. You don't run into a lot of the problems you do with other underglazes that don't fit the clay and may crack or pop off and things like that. So let's get started and see how this is done. Here's how I make my, sig my terra sigillata. What I do is I have saved up a bunch of old busted projects that didn't work out. And so this is what I use for, to make my terra sig. I just take the, the pieces, try not to make a lot of dust, put them in a bucket, Add some water and put this on a shelf in my studio. Wait a week, a couple of weeks till it gets all soft and the water gets all mixed with the clay. And it looks like this. Just mixed up clay. I take it, pour it into the bucket, mix it up quite well. Leave it on the shelf for another few days, it ends up looking something like this. This is ready to turn into now, turn into terracage. Alright, so I took the clay out of my plastic bag that I had sitting on my shelf for a while and I put it in to a bucket. It's nice and thin. I've mixed it up, made sure there's no lumps. At this point, if you want to strain it, you could. Not necessary for me. And then I'm going to take some sodium silicate, which aids in the separation of the particles to, to create the terra sigillata. I'm using about a healthy half a teaspoon of sodium silicate. And I just have it in a, in a cup of water here. Going to pour it in my slip. Mix it around a little bit. And then pour it in this jar. You need to use a clear jar so that you can 
see it. Whoa. There we go. So what's going to happen now is as this sits, it's going to separate. The top is going to turn into water. The middle is going to turn into the part we want. And the other parts that we don't need will float to the bottom, will sink to the bottom of the jar. This takes two or three days. Three days is usually plenty. So I'm going to put the lid on here. I'm going to set it aside. Hi, I'm back. Uh, this has been sitting on the shelf now for a while, a couple of days. And uh, the clay has now separated up into three layers. And I marked it on here. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but I can see very distinct layers of where the sediment has has fallen and where the clay that we want, the pure clay, is in the middle and on the top it's very runny. So I'm going to see if I can siphon off now the good stuff that we want from the middle of the uh, bottle. Just like being a teenager stealing some gasoline. Here we go. And I want to watch carefully. I don't want to siphon too much off. I only want that clay from the very beginning, from the very middle. It's the, it's the pure clay. This is working quite nicely. All right, so I got my terracage all separated out now. I got nothing but pure clay and water in the in here, and I I want to make some make it into color now. Make it into underglaze. Simply take a little color from the mason stains, put it in, and stir it up. Now, if you just use a small amount of, of mason stain, you'll get more of a watercolor effect. If you make it a little thicker, it, uh, it's going to be brighter. I paint it on my pots when they're green. I find that works the best. Sometimes it'll take up to three or even four coats to get a good coverage. Uh, but this is the way I do it. This is the way I decorate my work. And there are a lot of other ways to do it. There's a lot of other, other uses you can make do with terracid and people use underglazes different ways. This is just the way I do it. It works for me. Try it. See if it, how you like it. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.